Not going to talk back in the car outside the race course after it's finished. Wrexham one, knots nil. Um, a, a mixture of feelings for me after that one. I thought first half was maybe. I know we didn't score one of the best first halves I've seen in a very very long time from knots. We were superb and. It's easy to say now, but you replay that first half 10, 15, 20 times. We win almost every time. Uh, we score at least a few goals. Um, but, you know, they have they have players. I think it was Stephen Fletcher that got the goal, and that's the difference between the sides. They can play poorly and still win. And uh, we rarely do that, which is, is fairly disappointing. Um, look, I'm not going to be downbeat on this one. I know Maynard's won one of his five games in charge. I think it's five games in charge. And I know we haven't scored... But it's so, so positive. Like Every single time we get the ball, there's no possession. I tweeted this. There's no possession for possession's sake. We want to get the ball forward. We want to attack. Whereas in previous, previous months, we'll just pass, pass the ball around for no reason. Um, I thought there were some outstanding performances from Notts today. Uh, I thought Aidan Baldwin was superb. I thought Dan Criley was superb. Um, you know, Robertson again before he came off was superb. No, no idea how he got how he got booked, um, but they did it for the full ninety minutes. Those players for me were absolutely brilliant. Warner was good. Uh, Ashby Hammond I had no issues with. Couldn't do anything with the goal. Um, so very very disappointed at half time not to to go in ahead. Never mind level. And then second half we knew Wrexham weren't going to play like that again. We knew they weren't going to be poor. And for the first twenty five thirty minutes they absolutely battered us. And no, I'm, I'm not saying they couldn't have scored more than one. We defended actually very well. We didn't allow them too many clear cut opportunities and on another day they do score a second goal but then I thought you know we tied them a little bit and we kept going second half Dizzy scores a goal we're celebrating like Madney away and not sure why it was disallowed handball no one says anything else about it and at the end of the game I've just seen a replay of the handball and it's hit his chest it's not a handball uh, people say these um, kind of things sort of even themselves out yeah rubbish don't, don't believe in any of that stuff um, so very, very disappointed with that. I thought the referee, I'm not going to go too much about him, I thought the referee was really, really poor all game. Uh, apparently Wrexham commentators saying, how's McLean not been booked? I mean, to put it into context, I don't think Jody Jones won one foul all game. And, you know, they defended Jody very, very well. Mendy, a good sub to make to bring Mendy on as Jones is tiring because he couldn't get the better of him. But, you know, there, there was a few, a good few fouls put in on Jody in that game. Um, and we had to switch it up a little bit and, and go elsewhere. We've got a week now until crew. You know, do we change a lot? Not really, in my opinion. I think Didzy looked quite tired. We've got the option of Jatta now. That bench, again, had nothing really on it to sort of switch it up. When you bring in Sam Austin on as, as your more creative player, good to see Colquitt come on and Macari get some more minutes. I love the switch between the four and the five at the back because, you know, when it wasn't working that first 30 minutes of the second half, we switched it up to a five at the back and it began to work again. Then made some subs and switched it to a four on another day. We definitely come out away from that with at least a draw. Wrexham are very, very good at what they do. Superb at what they do, in fact. As I've already said this video, the difference is they can play poorly and win. We not necessarily can't. The gutting thing is today, I thought we were very, very good. We've got to remain positive. Crew coming up, then Sutton. You know, we've got some very winnable games. We're, we're almost at the end of that incredibly tough run. It is all coming together with Maynard. I don't personally see a way, other than, you know, as not putting the ball in the back of net, that we can be disappointed in that performance. I thought it, it just followed on from from Tuesday night against Newport. And and if you're looking for a worse game for to come straight after your first win, it's probably that one. You want a good home fixture where you can sort of continue that run of form. But play like that against Crew, and I, I honestly believe we'll be absolutely fine. So, yeah, all in all, very disappointing not to come away with anything, but positives are definitely, definitely there. Uh, some superb performances there. And I'm going to say it again, shout out to Aidan Baldwin, because... The guy has been unbelievable since Harrogate away for me. Absolute standout. First name on the team sheet after Jody Jones, of course. If you did enjoy the video or have any comments that you'd like to leave, please put them in the comment section below. Please do leave a like. It helps us out massively. And please do subscribe to the channel as we're trying to head for that 3,500 subscriber mark by the end of the season.